your Chris 6 weather forecast. Hey there, good Monday morning to you. Last one of April, and yeah, it is April. Even though when you step out the door, it feels more like July or August. We've got a very soupy atmosphere around the coastal bend, and that is going to make for daily rain chances and oppressive humidity. We've got to talk about the feels like temperature. It's definitely a practice run for summer. So let's start out with some of that haziness that we're dealing with this morning. We can see that from our sky cams and this one from our studio overlooking downtown Corpus Christi. It looks like we're underwater here almost with how uh, damp it looks outside, just to put it. Bluntly. 638 your time right now and your temperatures are feeling warm. All of this really lending to a very muggy start and that translates to some reduced visibility around the coastal bend. We're at two and a half miles of visibility in both Port Aransas as well as up in Beeville In Rockport. We're up around four miles of visibility. Also the case in Robstown that improves to five miles at CCIA and out in the bluff at Naval Air Station. Air, Naval Air Station Corpus Christi. This is mainly an issue for our northern neighborhoods along I-37 and northward, but we're all seeing a little hit to that visibility as we step out the door. So give yourself some extra time. This is a trend I expect to be in the forecast each day this week again, because we're not really going to see a change in the pattern for the rest of this week. We're starting off May the same way too, but check out your temperatures this morning already in the 70s and feeling warmer. We're at 79 in Kingsville and at NAS Corpus Christi. The cool spot, 73 degrees in Beeville. So this is going to translate to an even warmer afternoon. And we continue to have that south to south southeast flow in our wind. It picks up to some friendly levels this afternoon, but it's going to continue to bring humidity to the forecast. So let's take a look at how the rest of our morning will shape up. Today's dog, walk, dog walking forecast star is Sadie. Some of us may be feeling this way after the weekend of fun. Yep, taking a snooze on this Monday. Apparently Sadie, who's 13, does not like the disrespectful winds. Thankfully, we've got a, a friendlier forecast for those winds today. So maybe she'll get up and go for that walk this morning. We're really not going to see much in the way of wind, just a little movement in the air and we could use it because look at how humid and warm things are going to be a sun cloud mix, but we're already around 80 degrees by 9 to 10 a.m. So this afternoon our temperatures will reach the upper 80s pushing 90 degrees. I do think we get to 90 here in Corpus Christi, but once you factor in that humidity, your body perceives a much warmer temperature feeling like 98 by 3 p.m. We're pushing a feels like temperature or heat index of 100 degrees in the coastal bend this afternoon. The worst of it in the heart of the afternoon, say 2, 3, 4 p.m. So make sure you're taking breaks indoors to cool off. But that humidity not really backing down into the afternoon. That's the reason for it. However, with those friendly winds coming basically on shore, we're going to keep the humidity in the forecast for the next couple of days. Some of that will translate to some rain. I think stray showers this afternoon possible, most likely for our inland neighborhoods like Alice, say between lunchtime and the ride home. And then all of us have a pretty good chance of seeing an isolated shower as we go into the overnight. Might have some wet roadways for the Tuesday morning commute. We'll keep an eye on it. But again, daily rain chances because how sensitive our atmosphere is. It is ripe and ready to go for that rainfall. We just need a little something to spark showers. I think the best chance for that is going to be on Tuesday. Again, maybe Wednesday night. And we're hoping our rain chances look better over the weekend for buck days kicking off soon. But rain accumulations don't seem to be a whole lot for the most ambitious rain totals, maybe as much as a quarter of an inch, and it's going to be very hit or miss over the next couple of days. You can see here why Tuesday looks to be the best day to get some rainfall into the forecast because it covers the most of the coastal bend on that day. So looking at your seven day forecast today, the hottest day of the week, 90 for the high. We'll see the winds picking up on Wednesday, lasting through the end of the week.